Welcome back to Undercover. We're here with Andrew Morris. Uh, now, Andrew, you just released album number four. Well, kind of album number four. You're a, it's your, your fourth solo album. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I'm getting that right. Um, not to mention the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of other albums that you've been in or on or played on. Uh, but the, that's like a whole career that you have going now. How does it feel to actually have come this far? It's good, actually, because I sort of... The solo career was sort of thrust upon me. I didn't really want to be a solo artist, but uh, the band I was in uh, broke up, and the quickest way for me to make music, which is what I wanted to do, was to, to put out a solo record, and that was in 2004, uh, little by little. And, um, yeah, just every year I seem to be producing a record, and um, which is a good time schedule for me because I seem to write a lot of music and... Um, it seems to be a good cycle so yeah up to number four and also a record with the Wilson Pickers um, last year as well so it keeps me busy yeah it's my job so <laughs> it, it's quite a it, it, it's a really good sounding record it, it's very well layered the songs seem to uh, to uh, come through very well throughout the whole band I mean how do you imagine these songs when you're actually writing them yeah well, this one um, particularly I was quite happy with how it was realised um from the initial idea to actually write an album on the piano um, and then through the writing process and then to actually coming to record it and having the final product, I think it actually it, it came out pretty much how I wanted it to sound and a lot of that was due to Marty Brown, the producer, mm. who um, you know, helped us get the sound and get the feel. Um, uh, we sort of ended up with a bit of a soul flavour. I think that's the way I was writing on the piano, had a bit more of a stomping feels to, as opposed to my guitar playing so I sort of went with that and being a big fan of soul music it wasn't a hard decision to make and and then yeah so we put the horns on lots of backing vocals a really really great um, band playing the rhythm sections and basically set up in a in a big uh, rehearsal studio Adelphia over in Fitzroy I think it is um, yeah just everyone in the same room horns live vocals all the mics set up and it was pretty much you know, there was bleed into each mic, and that's how we got that sound on the record. I think that really gives it a full, full roomy sound. Mm. I I had read a quote from you uh, talking about the the big soul influence that came through on this record, and and uh, like you just said, that influence in the actual recording process. Do you think that you actually really did take something of what they were trying to achieve? Uh, you know, back in. I assume you're talking about the older soul. Yeah, well, definitely. Yeah. Like, um, like you've seen the Standing in the Shadows of Mount, Mountain, uh, Motown, Motown yeah. DVD. You know, it's all about the Funk Brothers, and they're all in this sort of dingy basement style studio, and they yeah. all come in, and you know, they probably had about three gigs that night and, and jam. But there's definitely that idea, and that whole Phil Spector thing as well, where it's just you know put as much stuff in one room and just go for yeah. it and have turn it all up really loud yeah, and press just, the shit out of it and, yeah. Yeah. and it was all recorded on tape which was really fun haven't worked with tape for this a while this record yeah um, you know lots of old vintage mics and that sort of stuff so it was good to do this record old school and because there was only it was an 8 track tape machine so we couldn't really do overdubs and Marty wasn't interested anyway which was good it was yeah. pretty much we got it right or Start Although it again. wasn't, Sergeant Pepper was recorded on an eight track. Yeah, true. I true. think maybe maybe sixteen. No, eight. Yeah, but not in five days. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 